What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Oh, God. Where do we start here? So, this fight is obviously going to have controversy behind it. I'm going to give you my unadulterated, unfiltered, honest-to-God opinions on tonight's fight, the display I've seen. First of all, shout-out to HBO. Shout-out to the card. I enjoyed myself thoroughly as a boxing fan. Um, Ruslan Provodnikov versus Chris Algieri. Great fight. I told you going into it, it's a contrast in styles. You got a long, rangy dude who's pretty quick, deceptively quick, um, both with his hand speed, with his footwork, with his processing time. And he's a boxer. He's more of a clinical, technical boxer. And then you have Ruslan fucking Provotnikov. Definitely just a bulldozer, tough. They said in the telecast some shit, like, until he was age 10, he'd never even ate cooked meat. Like, he would just eat raw meat and shit in Russia. So, that's weird. But, shit. You gotta get some protein, I guess. And this fight was it was entertaining for me. In the first round, Chris Algieri was in trouble and immediately his eyes started swelling. We know Ruslan has devastating power and it shows. I mean, look at his opponents who beat him. Ruslan Provotnikov lost to Mauricio Herrera. Look at his face at the end of the fight. I did a video about it, so search that on the channel if you want to see that picture or Google it. Um, Timothy Bradley. His face didn't look as beat up because he's more defensively minded than some of the other guys, possibly. But he had a concussion. I mean, just look at the highlights of that fight and you'll be like, damn, how did Timothy Bradley make it alive in that fight um, or make it through that fight? And then Chris Algieri, he looked like sloth. His eye was just fucking swollen. First round was a 10-7 round. Now, personally, I did not score this fight because I was just enjoying myself. I usually do that for the replays. I just want to live the moment and just enjoy, have a couple drinks and that kind of stuff. So I, I, honest to God, didn't score the fight. But just from the eye test, from what I was seeing and, and whatnot, I gave the fight to Ruslan Provodnikov. So I went against what the judges said. Um, here's where things gets a little gray. Chris Algieri showed motherfucking heart and if anyone has his number they need to slide chris algeria's number to victor ortiz because that's what boxing is all about this dude battled back adversity his eye was gone nearly uh swollen shut and he's a dude when i told you going into the fight i thought Ruslan was going to win late stoppage and it looked like i was on track to have that come true but this motherfucker has no punching power going 12 rounds with a killer like Ruslan Provodnikov. And, and I say killer because of his punching power and his aggressive style. He's very relentless. And I think the first half, Ruslan looked very measured. He looked composed. It looked like he had done some work with Freddie Roach. But this is the problem with some Freddie Roach fighters. They seem one-dimensional. They seem like offense, offense, offense. And if it ain't offense, there's not really much of a plan B. It's, it's kind of one-dimensional. And there's other fighters, but we're talking about Freddie Roach. And there's other trainers, but again, we're talking about Freddie Roach. That's what I noticed about his stable. They're offensive killers, but what do they do when their offense is not necessarily working? Do they rely on defense? It's like they're not, he's not training up complete fighters. Now, Miguel Cotto is a little bit different because Miguel Cotto was great before Freddie Roach. And Freddie Roach is just tweaking little things, but he's already a beautiful boxer in terms of his style and um, his smarts and, and what he's done and what he's accomplished he went to Freddie Roach late in life so that's not necessarily the same that's like somebody making a beat and then I just put my name on it and I'm like oh this is ego beats because I tweaked something or I made a suggestion and I told you that Freddie Roach again no discredit to what he's done with Kodo Kodo has looked sharp but he, he got a fighter who's already molded and worked with his style that's different than Virgil Hunter stepping in after Andre Ward's dad dies and becoming like his father, like his second father, training him up as a kid through all the Golden Gloves and all the state-to-state -state tournaments. That's different. So Ruslan Provotnikov, his kryptonite, is boxers. Boxers who stand up to his power and make it a fight and can box. It troubles him, and that's where he, he fucked up. Like I said, I had the fight Ruslan winning um, off the eye test just because Ruslan was landing the more impactful shots he had his man hurt and i i seen the volume that chris algeria in the heart that he was throwing it just wasn't enough in my first viewing for me to give chris algeria the fight um i i can't give him that many rounds 
it was different than Chavez Jr. versus um, Brian Vera because some of Vera's shots looked crispy and it looked like they were having an effect on Chavez Jr. And, he, and Chavez Jr. just looked pretty shitty. So I think Ruslan Provotnikov looked good. Now, again, the gray area is you have your man with a swollen eye looking like the dude from the Goonies. Hey, you guy, Rocky Road. And how do you follow through with that? How do you follow up with that? You're supposed to get someone like that out. And I posted on my Instagram, if you go there, there's a video of Chris Algieri getting knocked out when he was a kickboxer by a punch, not by a kick. Ruslan just completely let off the gas and let Chris Algieri back into the fight. So to me, I, I can't even blame Freddie Roach because he was giving him all the advice he could. He said, mix it up, throw some uppercuts. We need a knockout. Freddie Roach was doing his part as a trainer. It was Ruslan that was fighting pretty one-dimensional and even allowing it for up for debate or up for interpretation so i really blame ruslan and his style um he said at the end of the fight oh he doesn't like runners i mean fuck that this is boxing you got different styles um and you got to deal with them it's just like if you work anywhere you can work at jc penny's you can work at mcdonald's do you have one type of customer no you got multiple you got guys you got females you got teenagers you got irate customers you got customers that are sweet as pie you have to, if you're a customer service rep, you got to deal with them. No different than boxing. If you got different styles or a runner, quote unquote, or a brawler, I mean, you can't just expect everyone to be a rock'em, sock'em robot, Brandon Rio style, and they're just going to come to the front door and bang it out with you because, of course, that's going to give you the advantage if you have devastating power for your division. So to me, that's, that's really a dumb statement. And I blame Ruslan for leaving it up for grabs and leaving it up for interpretation look at lucas matisse another power puncher but more of a boxer puncher and with lucas matisse he felt he got jobbed in the fights with devin alexander which i agree with the zab judah was a little bit closer but uh, could have went either way anyway alexander zab judah fight he wasn't feeling the verdict that's why he came back taking motherfuckers heads off and wasn't really leaving it up to the judges so again i blame ruslan provotnikov for not adapting and not really pressing the attack and not knowing what to do to get a boxer from winning rounds and and again leaving this whole shit up for interpretation you should have piled it on i mean the motherfucker can't see he can't see there i mean there's no way he could have possibly had perfect vision with the way his eye was so i had ruslan provotnikov winning but i'm sure damn sure not mad at chris algeri winning just because Again, I always want to be right in my prediction, and it looked like I was. And according to my scorecard, um, my mental scorecard, I Ruslan did win the fight in, in my eyes. But again, you left that up for grabs. You left it up for interpretation and didn't do enough and had the motherfucker coming on strong, looking sharp, boxing. Algeri kind of reminded me of a Jorge Linares where he was boxing, just looked real crisp, looked fluid, and he's snapping your head back and shit like that. That's all scoring. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not the amateurs, but... That, that, that scoring blows and you're getting off these onesie twosies that affect your opponent so again Ruslan Provotnikov you you left it up for grabs you left it up for discussion and people are going to view it differently that's why it was a split decision and you lost your fucking title so again as the fight progressed I was I was like damn I love a good underdog story so even though I didn't think he was winning I was just like fuck it if he wins he wins you know what I mean the motherfucker showed tenacity, durability, heart. He was obviously in good shape. I think it was more of a gift decision, more them being generous because he showed a lot of um, heart. But again, I got to watch it again because I didn't analyze the, the compu box and the punch count. I just know he was looking better and, and taking Ruslan's shots better and better. And he had a higher activity rate and he was boxing beautifully after pretty much after the first knockdown. And... It is what it is. Ruslan didn't put his foot on the gas. Let me know what you guys think. Who won the fight? Why did they win? Leave a comment. Do you want to see a rematch? Pretty much fucks off a Pacquiao-Ruslan fight. Who wants to see Pacquiao and Ruslan at 47 if he can't even get past a light puncher? Two light punchers. Timothy Bradley. Y'all call him Pillow Fist. And now Chris Algieri. Or Mauricio Herrera. I mean, three. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? So who wants to see him against someone who has the power to stun him? Um, all Pacquiao is going to have to do based on that and the vulnerabilities Ruslan displayed if they were to fight is to use angles and just box and that's pretty much what Pacquiao's been fucking doing his last two fights against Brandon Rios and also 
against um, Timothy Bradley in a rematch. So I always had Pacquiao beating Ruslan, but I thought it could be interesting just if, if Pacquiao got caught with something, how would he respond? And this second half of his performance didn't really prove otherwise. He was supposed to stop that man. Let me know what you guys think of the fight or thought of the fight. I enjoy myself. Make sure you like the video. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego. Signing off. Hey.